welcome back to the farm. If you're new here, my name is Nina. I'm a homeschooling, homesteading mom of four, ages nine down to five. And here on my channel, we talk all about homeschooling, homesteading, and homemaking. It's been a while since I had a video go up. We've been really busy in our lives uh, lately, but I thought I would take a second since we have finished up some re renovations on our house that we're currently living in, um, that I would give you an updated uh, tour. So. I have done a couple of videos, one like uh, right before we moved in that we were doing some projects on and then I did one I think I left off after we got the floor finished and paint done. Um, so now we have finished all of the major renovations and we are excited to have that done. We've done a lot of decluttering. So I'm going to get in and show you the tour. I'm going to start with outside. Um, in the front yard and then we'll move in towards the back but if you want to see any of the uh, videos that I've already done um, about the inside of the house I will post that up here in a card that way you guys can see it so hold on a second and we'll go in and see the big reveal so here's currently what the front looks like it's 909 90 square feet a uh, two bedroom one bath. Uh, we replaced these porch lights up here. They were like the goldy uh, brass that you see right there on the door. I've still got to paint the front door. Um, everything is pretty much done other than painting trim and some other things. So let's walk inside. Welcome to our house. So as we come inside, we're coming to where our living room is. It's a good size. Um, our furniture that we have in here is a little too big for this space, but we didn't want to buy anything else when we moved here from our other house. Um, so we just made what we had work. Uh, if you'll remember from past videos right here, I had our big homeschool shelf. I've gotten rid of that, decluttered a lot of ho our homeschool stuff. Because if you will remember, our plan from this house forward is to live in a camper while we build. So we are decluttering a lot of things trying to figure out uh, what we actually need to live with versus what we want to live with. And we've got a storage unit in town that we're taking a lot of our stuff to that we're gonna try to live without for a year. There is our golden doodle, Noah, that everybody sees in the background. Told y'all he's not more than five feet away from me. Um, so we have our dining area and our TV in here. And then our, what we, our major part of our renovation that we did was into the kitchen so uh i guess about a month after we moved in we replaced the floors all the way in the kitchen and the living room into the hallway um, and replaced the carpets in both bedrooms which i'll show you in a second uh, what we've done in the kitchen is replace we took out the old laminate countertop and replaced it with a butcher block this is a product from lowe's that we refinished ourselves with a gray um, classic gray i want to say it was min wax um, color stain and then i put three coats of polyacrylic and then i decided i didn't like the way that finish looked so then i went back and put two coats of polyurethane on top of it um, and just to make it a harder shinier finish i think that looked really well then we went with a subway backsplash um, tiled backsplash and we replaced the sink as well so new sink new faucet and we put in new lights. Uh, you'll see painter's tape. I'm still painting the trim in the house. So I painted all the cabinets white and replaced the handles to um, that like polished, um, or maybe it's the antique nickel look. I don't remember what it's called, like the pewter look. So we did replace all of the appliances when we moved into the house last year. So went with stainless steel there um, we have good size countertops in here and then back through here is the pantry so we have all of this space for pantry i've not painted these cabinets yet i am going to um, i've got to paint the back door because we replaced it and then this is one room i don't think y'all have ever seen i may have showed it in one of my videos but anyway right here was a big stand-up freezer we have since got rid of that and we still have enough room back here for a deep freezer and some and our hot water heater and all that stuff so back outside to the backyard we replaced all the decking boards on our deck and took the railing off um, 
you know, a lot of it was just old since the house was built. I think it was built in 2004. So it was, it was, it needed to go. So 18 years, years, it needed to go. So, um, and then we added steps towards the back. We left the ramp over here because this house is wheelchair accessible. So, um, we wanted to, to leave that as a feature of the house. So just another look kind of going back through. For the size of this house, it's got good storage space. There's the dog. Um, and so back through this side of the house, this is the hallway. Um, and then we go into the bathroom. This is the only bathroom in the house, but it is very big. Um, we always joke and say that we could play a football game in this bathroom. Um, like I said, this house is wheelchair accessible. It was actually built for a lady that was in a wheelchair. So that's why a lot of the rooms have big doors on them. And then the bathroom has a big space and all that so that they could get a wheelchair in. And um, so double vanities, we replaced the faucets um, and re replaced the lighting in here. There was already a towel shower. The towel floor was already here. We didn't really do a whole lot with this other than paint and replace lighting. Um, so then back through from the bathroom, this is the kids' room. I can't remember if I've shown once I got the bunk beds in here, um, but this room is nine and a half by nine and a half this way by 12 and something this way. So we had room for two sets of bunk, twin bunk beds. So if, if you're new here, we have four kids. Like I said in my um, intro, we decluttered a lot of their toys out of here, cleaned um, a lot of things out. So they've been able to keep this a lot cleaner. Like I said, we replaced all the carpets in the um, on the floor in the bedrooms and then painted in here. And uh, their closet, I've, I have shown their closet before in my laundry video. I will post that up in the cards if you want to see how we've done our laundry system and cord clothes storage since we've been here. But this is the boys' clothes and this is the girls' clothes. It works really well. It's keeping us minimalist um, as much as we can be. This is all school supplies that I, what I got our school supplies down to. Um, to go into the camper. I may have to do a little more purging depending on what's going to fit in there, but that's all the school stuff that we have plus the curriculum that's in my closet um, and <laughs> their wheel that they built. So I kept a few uh, bins of Legos and Connects. Um, they are taking their Play-Doh in there and then we have Barbies and Barbie dolls and stuff like that down in there um, that we are going to take into the camper as well. And so we have a coat closet there. And then back here is the master bedroom um, and laundry room. So I'll just take you in the laundry room real quick. Uh, enough room for a washer and dryer. And then had some cab cabinets up here. I still got to paint those. Got to paint this back door because we did replace this one as well. Um, so it, it serves its purpose as a little bit of storage and where we wash our clothes. All right, so this is a look into our bedroom. Um, it is a little bit bigger than the kids' bedroom. It is, um, well, I can get a queen-size bed in here and still have room for a couple of dressers if if needed. We went with a dresser and a bookshelf. Um, and then it also has its own walk-in closet. We have already kind of um, pulled out our winter clothes, left a few things because it's still getting cool here. But um, here is the kids' curriculum. So this right here that you see and what you saw in the kids' room is all that we're keeping for school supplies for the next year. Um, so uh, I'm learning how to school and not have this big, huge school room and just using a table. The kids lay on the beds. They sit on the couch. Wherever we can get school done, um, that's what we do. So that's a look inside the walk-in closet. So I'll give you another view of the bedroom as you can tell we are big georgia fans go dogs so that is everything all right guys so that is a look at our entire house um if you are not familiar with our story i have several videos as i said in the beginning of uh, what we did we sold our 3400 square foot house on 14 acres we moved into our house that we were renting 
out to other people. Um, and we have been renovating it while we are here. We finally got almost everything finished other than painting the trim. I hate painting the trim, but that's the only thing I have left to do. Um, and we will be moving from here and, um, hopefully a month or so, a couple of months, um, we are going to sell this house. So, uh, we've had a couple of people interested in it and, um, we are hoping to, uh, move on. It has been a great investment for us and we are just thankful that we were able to have, uh, this house, um, and this property and have been able to enjoy it while we have owned it. So if you are interested in what we have going on in our family, we would love for you guys to stick around and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, we'll have lots of things coming up. I plan on walking um, everybody or bringing everybody along for the building process when we get started. We're still in like the planning stages. We should be getting our building permit this week. Um, so it's moving along very slowly, but um, we are excited. And of course I'll have videos out about camper life, homeschooling, what we're using for curriculum next year, all those things. So stay tuned for those and we'll catch you in another video very soon. Bye guys.